Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charleston. Welcome, you guys, to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty serious episode for you guys that we definitely want you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as y'all know, um, ESPN uh, is known for doing a lot of things that seems to be anti-men, right? Uh, and, and one of the people that people are always criticizing on that network uh, is one Malika Andrews. Every now and then she finds herself embroiled in some type of drama where people are comment commenting on her and uh, pushing back. Now, as y'all know, recently the Nets fired their head coach, Steve Nash, right? Because it wasn't working out there. After he got fired, we heard that the next coach that's most likely going to replace him for that job within Brooklyn is going to be Ime Odoka. And as y'all know, by now, all of the drama surrounding Ime Udoka, it caused a lot of people to say various things about the situation. And we ourselves here at this particular platform, we've made our thoughts clear on the issue. For those of you who may not know, um, I said what Ime Udoka did was absolutely stupid. My only issue with that situation was it seemed like he was being flogged publicly. And I didn't like the fact that there, there, you, there you had a black guy. And whenever people thought about workplace misconduct, a black guy is what comes up to your mind. Now, according to all of the reports, allegedly, it was a consensual relationship. But for whatever reason, they chose to make his identity public and keep the other person public for reasons to this day that remains unbeknownst to me. So what happened? Yesterday, I believe it was on NBA Countdown or NBA Countdown or something like that, one of these ESPN shows. On the panel, you had Mike Wilbon, Stephen A. Smith, Jalen Rose, and Mike Greenberg. And they were talking about the possible hiring of Ime Udoka, um, you know, for him to be for him to get the head coaching position uh, at the at the Brooklyn Nets. And while we were talking, Jalen Rose brought up a point, the same point that I had been bringing up all of this time. But for those of you who missed the comments that Jalen Rose made, we want to play them for you now, and then we're going to come back and react to it. Take a listen to that. To piggyback on Stephen A's point about um, what Ime did, we know his name. Uh, maybe I'm missing something as it relates to the law, but why we don't know her name? It's not like she's a minor. I feel like we should know her name publicly as well. But with that being said, I respectfully disagree with the legend Michael Wilbon. This is why. I feel like he deserves the opportunity to work again. And if he's going to work again, I agree with based that. on that, and if the Nets, who he's familiar with... So you heard what Jalen Rose had to say. Now, a few moments later... He was forced to come out and make an apology for the comments that you just heard. For those of you who didn't hear his apology and what he had to say, take a listen to them now and then we'll come back and unpack this thing. Take a listen to that. I'm Jalen Rose and I would like to apologize for a comment I made earlier on NBA Countdown. I question why a woman's name who had an alleged affair with Celtics head coach Ime Adoka was not made public. After an internal investigation, and it was discovered that she was a subordinate to the head coach. I now understand fully why her name should not be released to the public. So you heard it. Within the same show, the same ta taping of the same show, Jalen Rose came out and made an apology. And it was at that moment, it all started to make sense to me. That's when it started making sense to me. ESPN is the one that is forcing people to do this. That's number one. Number two, if you listen very carefully to the reason he gave for apologizing, he said, after an internal investigation, hold on, let me understand something. Did they conduct an internal investigation during the taping of a live show? Did, did Jalen Rose go and conduct an, an internal uh, investigation? That's number one. Number two, are you telling me that Jalen Rose read a report on the investigation while the show was being aired? Maybe he watched it on a commercial break and therefore he had a change of mind. When did all of this happen? After the internal investigation, when did, when, when, so when did Jalen Rose go through the report? That's number one. Number two, I'm pretty sure Jalen Rose was privy to all of the information before he made that comment. So I don't know what it is that he said that was somehow different from this internal investigation that he went through 
And now it may, it caused them to come out and apologize. I'm not understanding this. Like, let's just think about this from a common sense standpoint. It is obvious, very obvious that someone at the network told him that he had to apologize, period, end of story. And my question is, what exactly is he apologizing for? That's number one. Number two, help me understand something. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I'm not savvy enough to understand these concepts here. Is ESPN saying that it's okay for sit to sit there and criticize this man and say all of these things about him, have Malika Andrews and all of these people running around saying slick stuff about him. And the only reason it's okay to say that about him is because he's a guy, but, but then when it, when it comes time to reveal the identity of the woman, all of a sudden, what? All of a sudden, what? If the situation was with two consenting adults and she wasn't a minor to use his words, why is their identity being made? And this is the part no one wants to explain to me. Nobody wants to explain this thing to me. It is very clear to me at this particular moment that they, those people at ESPN seem to have a serious problem with men. That is, that is the messaging that I'm getting here as a man watching this. And to me, the part that's absolutely confounding is that they're constantly criticizing and berating the number one viewing audience demographic on their network. I will never understand that. Why would they do that? Why would y'all do that? What is he apologizing for? What's the thing that he said that he had to apologize for? Basically, what you're saying is they slapped him on the wrist and say, hey, hey, you know what you can say. You know what you can't say. Go out there and apologize for that. That is madness. He said nothing wrong. But they tried to paint a scenario in which it looked like he was. This is what Malika Andrews was talking about. Going, There's some people that will listen to that and say, he's going after women. Really? Really? So you're telling me it's okay to sit there and constantly question this guy's uh, 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 humanity, his, his, his ethics, all of these different things. But the moment somebody has the nerve to ask, hey, but what about the other person? According to reports, we're hearing, allegedly, it's important that I say this, it was a married woman. Is Ime Odoka married? What about your ethics? Why don't you discuss that? Of course, it's off. It, 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 uh, uh, that's off. That's off um, limits. We don't want to touch that. But if it's to sit up there and question this guy every single day, no problem with it. I have a problem with it. There's some guys watching this particular show here that want me to be okay with it. Something is wrong with you if you believe that if one day, if I have a son that looks like me, I'm going to sit up here and criticize him knowing very well I have a son that's going to go into the world and I'm going to be one of the people. You're crazy. You're crazy. Why would I want to add to the stigma surrounding this guy? That was my issue. I said, so now when people think about workplace misconduct, the first thought that comes to their mind is a black guy. That is my problem with it. It is okay. Oh, he's a black dude. So what? They're not human beings. They have no feelings. Who gives a damn about them? Throw them out there. Throw them to the wolves. Let them say whatever the hell they want to say about them. Who cares? Let's talk about him from morning to night. But you better not mention that woman's name. What? And y'all expect everybody to be cool with that? Are y'all serious? And I'm supposed to be cool with it. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. I'm going to stand up and support the person that looks like me. Because one day, if it's not happening to me, it's going to happen to my kids. It's going to happen to my nephews. Or my friends. Or my brother. Y'all are crazy. I'm supposed to sit up here and be cool with it. And y'all going to try to intellectualize it to me. Why it's okay that he should be the one that should be criticized. What's the law that he broke? What's the law? And finally, the most disgusting part about this is why do they feel like as if they have the right to comment on it? You're commenting on a workplace policy that you yourself don't even implement. People, staff members at ESPN are able to date each other. So what gives you the impetus to feel like you can go out there 
and comment on what these people are doing when you yourselves do it. When did y'all get so self-righteous? Oh, he said he's, he's, he's in a power position. Meanwhile, the same fool saying that are the ones doing the same thing. It's a joke. It's a joke. Let me just leave it there before I go off any further. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comments. We catch you on the next one. Peace.